right, let's check this out. Uh, I'm assuming um, that when we tell the U-Call to come join us on the boat, they will tell us that Kirk has not returned. Probably. Uh, and I'm on my way to the um, shaman woman shaman to tell her that we've got a boat. Oh. It's so cute. And creepy at the same time. But mainly cute. Is there? I don't know why it's loading. <laughs> Miss Kate Walker found another way for Yukos to cross Sacred Lake? Yes, it's unbelievable. I found a boat that can take all of you and your herd, too. The captain, Captain Obo, is waiting for us at the port. First, we all must wait, Kirk. Guide of Yukos, made like new with his new magic leg. Simon Steiner, the Valsenbor clockmaker, finished Kirk's prosthesis and took it to the clinic. They're going to come down together and meet us on board the crystal. So Yukos make use of night to pick up entire camp. Much, much work for us tonight. <laughs> We're really getting somewhere. It's just a minor setback. As long as their spiritual guide is here, in our hands, the nomads are going nowhere. I hope you know what you're doing, Olga Efimova. The rest of my men won't be arriving for another few hours. It'll be hard to keep those savages here without breaking heads. And I don't want to create a scandal here in Valsenbor. Don't worry, Colonel. If we do it my way, we won't need your army of mercenaries to solve the Yukal problem once and for all. God, what on earth can they be doing? What are they doing? Please calm down, Captain. Sarah promised to send Steiner and Kirk down as soon as they get there from the clinic. I'm sure they'll show up. It doesn't matter if they turn up now or an hour from now. We were supposed to leave before night time. I'm warning you, there's no way I'm taking my ship out onto the lake just when it's the monster's mealtime. Listen, if it makes you feel better, we can leave tomorrow at dawn. Until then, I'll go see how everyone is getting on. And you try and calm down a bit. Everything will be fine, Captain. She's got a lot of faith for someone who had to use a rowboat to escape from that hospital. Uh... Tried to get up the stairs. Also, from the cutscene, I can uh, 
Imagine that you have to be fat and have a moustache to become a police officer in Valsenborg. Everything okay? Mmm. Kirk still not come here. Spirits send very big dark clouds. Spirits always react fast. Them not like change of way any time in Great Migration. What does that mean? Avoiding Baranur by going through Now Dusk is a problem for you? Oh, yeah. Spirits sometimes like procedure, you know. Don't you think they'd rather tolerate a minor detour instead of seeing the entire Yukul people contaminated? Bad atmosphere in Baranor is like challenge set for us by spirits on our route. They don't like to see tribe run from signs of trouble. Fair enough. Don't worry about Kirk. The clockmaker Steiner will bring him back here very soon. Too long to come back. Not a really good sign. Must worry Miss Kate Walker also. What do you think of the crystal? Ayahuasca preferred tent. <laughs> Not like this floating house. Try to stay positive, okay? I'm sure everything will go smoothly. Sure. She believes you. <laughs> All right. Now, is Kate really believing that it's fine, or is she just telling everyone that um, so they'll, you know, shut up? Kate! Sarah, is everything all right? It's Grandfather. He hasn't come back from the clinic. Maybe putting on Kirk's prosthesis took more time than he thought it would. That's just what I thought, too. But when I took the vernacular to go look for him in the clinic, I saw everything up there has been closed up, and there are armed men in the lobby. Oh, maybe those are the soldiers with that colonel who's chasing us. They're holding Grandfather. I just know it. I have to go save him. Young Tuck Moon is right. Miss Kate Walker must hurry and go back to clinic and save Kirk. And Grandfather, what will you do about him? We will save him, too. No way, I won't leave anyone but Miss Kate Walker must not forget all the things that Yukols did for her. Remember, you a grandfather a lot too. Calm down, both of you. I'll bring them back, but I need the two of you to keep your heads. Miss Kate Walker must take this. We'll need it up there. What's that? And how can you know what I might need? Spirits not just send really bad signs. <laughs> Now, Miss Kate Walker must return back in clinic. I'm off. In the meantime, tell the captain to be ready to leave. Too bad if it's dark out. If the colonel and his men are really up there, we'll need to leave the second I come back here with Kirk. That won't end badly. So, nobody's coming to help us then. All right, I'm sure I can do this on my own. Hey there. Tribe no spirits guide me scared walk. Yeah. Uh, how do I get to the hospital from here? Actually. Do I finally get to go up that rail that I saw? That would be cool. I hope it's not just there for show. Anyone here help me? Oh dear, I've had a bit much, I think. No. Mr. Barkeeper, you're nice. Time at the bar, everybody. We're closed. Please leave before the police show up. I'm supposed to be meeting someone, but I can't remember who. You're all drunk. Would you look at him? <laughs> That's useless. What about you? What are you doing out so late? Evening. Nothing, I guess. Um, I'm not sure how I'll get to the hospital, to be honest. I'm pretty sure I can't go back in the way I came. 
Although if I don't find anything here in the village, I'll try that, I guess. Uh, wait, that way? Apparently some of the nomads are walking around freely in the port. Can you believe that? Yeah, the bastards. Someone should do something about that. How dare they walk around like free people? Oh no, I did the... yeah. Again? Ah. If anyone is watching this, I definitely do recommend using a controller for this game. Uh, I assume it would take care of that sort of problem. Can't go talk to the mayor. I didn't think so, but try anything right ah police maybe he knows how to get to the hospital hey there hi remove every last trace of those hooligans coming to our town that's what mayor bulia keen said hmm. oh, okay my dear lady please wait mr mayor what is it things have gotten worse Soldiers have just arrived in Valsambor. I'm afraid the militia is the right arm of the new authorities in our country. And I don't like it. Those people have no scruples at all. They've taken over the clinic and the military. Yes, I was just about... If they learn I authorized you to open the locks, I'll be banished to the taiga. Oh my god, it's terrible, horrible, atrocious. Don't worry, Mr. Mayor. We'll be leaving very soon. Perfect, perfect. But if you're captured first, I'm counting on you to keep my name out of things, even if they use torture. Ah, uh, well, it goes without saying, Mr. Mayor, that you can count on me. That's excellent. So then, so you have a good evening, dear lady. <laughs> that was super non-helpful, <laughs> but fair enough. Um, have I been here before? Ooh, look at that. Oh, that's one of those worker automatons. Interesting. However, I'm still not sure how to get to the hospital. Let's have a look up here. Yeah, that does lead to the top of that uh, hill, at least. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oop. Locked. Ah, <sighs> no, I need to find something else. Like a key? A key, I think. I have a knife. What is this? What does she expect me to do with this? I expect it'll become clear when it's time to use it. I hope. The soldiers must have called the funicular back after Sarah left. I have to find a way to send it down to the platform. All right. in my pockets that seems useful. Uh, 
so what is this oh yeah Yeah, we've got nothing here. So, uh, I guess we'll have to find someone who can help us. To, oh, there's the stairs down. Uh -huh. This is open now. This was closed before. Hmm. What? Whoops. <laughs> Hope no one saw that. But I've got a wedge. I've got two even. Uh, not sure how that will help me open the door at all. Probably not. Oh, three. But um, I'm sure we can use it for something later. Um, that's all. Trashing someone's cart and taking some wooden wedges. Hmm, don't worth it. Let's check somewhere else. Uh, maybe Sarah herself has she used it didn't she I don't know who normally who. Uh, yeah this is where I need to go hold on Mr. Steiner I'm coming <laughs> how dramatic uh, hi there hi that's it the last funicular is gone now you happen to have a key for it evening madam Just trying to get into the shop. No. Okay, so Sarah's not in the shop. She might be back in the cafe or still on the boat. Oh, no, the bar you shouldn't closed. be walking about this late, pretty girl. And especially not with creeps like you around. <laughs> I'm perpetually drunk. Let's just say it's a result of me being in a coma for so long. I've got some brain damage. Keep walking into walls. Like, not quite got my motor skills back. Hey, do you happen to have the key to that thing? On now. Bar's closed. Time to go home. Guess not. I'm thinking maybe the mayor has, but I don't know if he'll... Uh, well, if I can actually go visit him, because the uh, city hall was closed. Let's go check with Sarah first. If she's here. Yeah, she is. Awesome. Hi there. Please, Kate, bring Grandfather back. Uh, that was useless. Go talk to the captain. Oh, hi there. Both of us not leave at night, Miss Catwalk. Uh, sure. Who will need much, much fresh air when ostriches leave? Mm hmm. Nanook metal really safe? Yep. Perfectly. There's only three you call. Uh, can't I go here anymore? Turns out I can't. Okay. Where's the captain then? Okay, another door. Where is the captain? Well, maybe he is there and he locked himself in. 
Oh, hi there. What are you doing? Me feel squeezed tight in Lanuk metal. Yeah, I get that. Personally, I get a bit nauseous on boats like these. Being outside helps. So that was super useless. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Uh, maybe downstairs to the engine. Oops. What the? It's kind of broken. I'm sure that's not meant to happen. Oh well. No captain then. Right. Guess the mayor would be the one to try to talk to. No idea. Tap choppy animation there. Why does he live so far away? Try to get up the stairs straight away. Yeah. No, there's no one here. And I can't go in. That wasn't the solution. Hmm. Remove every last trace of those hooligans coming to our town. That's what Mayor Bulya Keen said. I'm sure he did. Um. Hmm. So all that walking around and nothing, except for a few wedges. No, no, no. Come back. Yeah. Oh. 
so oh there's a door open here but i can't actually go this way can i go around the other way though no and there's no way i can jump over these or move them aside I truly have nothing. Oh no! The soldiers must have called the funicular back after Sarah left. I have to find a way to send it down to the platform. Yeah, I do still assume I need to go into this... Um uh, control room or whatever it is to do that but how do I get in there why can't I just climb through this seems large enough um, think think Come back, come back! Ah! Too late. When she's in a walking up animation, it's too late. No, 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 no! Ah! This is getting really frustrating. Try to. Alright. See, to make her walk down the stairs, I have to press the go left button. As opposed to go down button, which is why it keeps accidentally going wrong. Because when she, when you start up the stairs going down, you have to press the go down button, the S, uh, and then when once you're in the next, oh, same here. Oh, damn it! So you press the W to go down the stairs, but then once you're in this... <laughs> in this one, you press the D button for some bizarre reason. I assume it makes more sense when you use a controller, and that is why they said, oh, just use a controller. But... It's a bit lazy, isn't it? They should have just made it work properly with a keyboard instead of saying like, uh, well, just use a different uh, device instead of making us fix that. Evening. Still don't have a key. Fair enough. All right. Um, I'm going to see if I can get back to the Yuko camp or where it used to be. Uh, maybe talk to all of the Yuko on the way there. Strange town. Mm, very racist town too. Well, at least the mayor is like, yeah, I don't like them being here because they cause trouble. But, you know, I'm not going to get them be shot by the military. I think he just mainly wants, wants his own town to be peaceful. He doesn't care. Uh what exactly happens okay so i definitely can't go here mm -hmm. so the solution must be somewhere in town why 
right here. My husband is still at the tavern, but he promised he'd finish talking to his friends soon so we can finally go home. Okay. If this was an RPG, I'd now go back to the tavern and try to convince one of the men to go back to his wife so they could go home. But I don't think this was a quest offer. I'm also guessing this, yeah, is locked again. I don't think I'll find a solution to my hospital problem here, but, you know, try out all the options. At this rate, we'll be leaving um, in the morning. Because there's no way I can find this all this night. It's been hours already. The night sounds look nice. Right, so I can't go back there. The only reason I thought I could do something there is because the de detective is still there as far as I know. And I thought maybe he's got something, you know, maybe he'll stop trying to arrest me. But obviously not. Uh, since we're passing here anyway, I'm going to get a quick look back on the ship. Uh, in case I missed something, like the captain that I couldn't find. Please, Kate, bring grandfather back. I'll try. I hope I can get to save both of them because obviously they need Kirk. So if the game allows a choice, there will be a choice because it will be Kirk. Now Miss Kate Walker must quickly go to clinic. I'm trying, I'm trying. Uh, wasn't there someone standing here? No? Hmm. I thought when I looked up there, I saw someone standing there, but it must have been the bin or something. Mm-hmm. Haven't been there, but I don't think there's anything there, but I can have a look. It's not like I've got anything better to do. She's just, just going to say that someone locked up all the boats again. Not even that, okay. Right. Useless. Can't get in through the back door, can I? Nope. That's a different building anyway. Let's talk to all the drugs again. Maybe one of them uh, has a key. Oh dear, I've had a bit much, I think. I'm supposed to be meeting someone, but I can't remember who. Your wife? <laughs> Time at the bar, everybody. We're closed. Please leave before the police show up. 
Would you look at him? <laughs> <laughs> right, useless. Let's go to Steiner's place again. There was someone there who mentioned the um, funicular or whatever they call it. Why am I? Oh no, wrong way. This way. Nope, nope, nope. You shouldn't be walking about this late, pretty girl. Mm, yes. Evening, madam. Hello. That's it. The last funicular's gone now. Can I steal the key from your pocket? No. Hold on, Mr. Steiner. I'm coming. Sure am. Nope, nothing. Uh, shake it into a shop, no. A bit more and I'd have found myself stuck up in that damn clinic with those damn mercenaries. Mm. That's it. The last funicular's oh. gone now. I thought he was going to say something super interesting. A next. bit more and I'd have found myself stuck up in that damn clinic with those damn mercenaries. Did you see that helicopter that flew over the town just now? Evening, madam. Mm -hmm. For a second there I thought, oh yeah, it's going to tell me here's the key to the... Thing, but no. Come on, you can do it. No? I guess not. <laughs> guess I didn't stand in front of the stairs in the correct way. How about this? No? Where to go, what to do, I don't know. I hope this isn't one of those glaringly obvious solutions again. Probably is. Look, someone dropped the key right in front of it, just didn't see it. Nah. That's a pretty big gap. I'm wedging the door up. That's not right. No way. All right. doesn't work. Let's try something else. Mm, like what? Nothing. Oh, okay. With the second witch here. Yeah. Right, right. I didn't see that. Not a chance. No? Impossible. It doesn't work. Alright, so that's the wrong one then. Nothing. Hmm. Let's try something else. Uh, how do I know? to it and then I can lift the door I think no 
Okay. Maybe not. Mm. Wait, I obviously missed something. So, small witch. Larger witch. Not no chance. way. She spoke with two voices at once. Oh, wait a second. I just saw something. Uh, back. Take this. I, uh... Oh, maybe not. Okay, no, I didn't see anything. <laughs> I thought I did. Never mind. Impossible. That's not right. Okay. Impossible. And now what? Can I put the small wedge on top? All right. Easier than climbing through these open windows, I guess. Maybe, maybe not. Um, uh -huh. No power. Of course not. Um, Stuck. Sure, I can use my trusty knife for that one. Didn't need anyone else's help for this. I didn't think I'd of opening the door with the wedges. To be honest, if I was her, I would have climbed through those front windows here. These ones. So why couldn't she? I don't know. There's no glass in them. There's glass in these. Right, so there better be a cutscene for this. Listen to my voice, young Yukel. Listen to the voice of a very dear friend, Kirk. You are the guide of your people. He who shows his Yukel brothers the path of modernity and progress. These archaic migrations that you persist in perpetuating 
are now but ridiculous reflexes. You must take your people back where they came from and have them settle down. Build real houses, schools, and factories. The nomadic life will no longer be possible in the world of tomorrow. Thank <laughs> you.